Hello, how you doing? Sorry, I forgot my book was back over there. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day and hope everything's going well with you. Sorry about the late start, but it is what it is. I was out Ubering and doing that. So we are going to be picking up from my book. And the universe said, hold my beer. This is the uh, 10th poetry book that I have published. So we start with the poem, Lubricate, Lubricate the Workings. Clockwork and gears, that's the trouble with fears, when your tears lubricate their workings. It's not so easy looking past my scars to see the inner workings of a mind running full speed. Things intertwine as and pistons push, moving things along as a robot springs to life. From deep inside the meat suit, wind me up, spin me up, just to watch me break down from rust to tears cause when you decided to break my heart. I wanted to uh, play around and try to do as much rhyming as I could with this poem. And I started out in the beginning, but really didn't uh, finish it, you know, going out through it. Uh, there was some uh, just um, thinking about the song uh, Shatter Me by uh, Hailstorm and the different references that the song makes to the clockwork within inside the machine. And I was thinking about the same thing about how we can be sometimes be a machine uh, especially when we um, we let other things overtake us but we don't um feel emotions you know this next one's called she's a rescue suddenly there's so much more to life with the mephalous mermaid basking in the glow of life in her in your tub i wouldn't say she's a rescue after she was left on the seashore. When the tide waters you know, retreated, the fish scales and fins have dissolved away as she sings a song. <clears throat> this right here was for a picture prompt of a mermaid and you know, seeing her basking there on the on the beach or on the rocks. And I thought about, you know, doing that like, you know, so you find a mermaid, you bring her home and you know, she ends up becoming human. Uh, or becoming human. So you look you got the um, having to take this person in uh, and teach her and show her different things. So it's just a kind of a different thing. But it, when you look at certain things, like you're just saying he or she is a rescue because you end up uh, taking care of somebody else's person. You know. so this one's called Jury, and it's a short poem. Look at the fa facts, please, and recall your actions to a jury of dying eyes and lies. And it's basically um, being on trial for everybody, or being being out there in the public eye, and everybody has that um, they're judging you because of what you do or say or how you act. You know, as it goes on and saying that, because everybody is always judging you for who you are as a person, whether they know you or not. <clears throat> so this next one's called "Cuts uh, Cut Us Away." Winding, unforgivable acts of string, weighing us down from within our shells before shears cut us away. And I was thinking about the, um, about how the heartstrings are and how we are tied in each other. And how some things are, some things you do is unforgivable to other people that people see are unforgivable and so those things when they happen people ended up just cutting the strings or cutting the ties even if it was something just minor or something major you know this one's called sunrise over the ocean being human means enduring as we collect experiences both good and bad as we go through life it's the moments where you are insignificant in the world, staring at the sunrise over the ocean, watching the setting sun over mountain range, or cloud or storm clouds rolling in as the light bends to black. Being caught in a cold summer's rain, leaves falling and collecting as they crunch on their foot, crunch on their foot, the center rain burning wood and cocoa under the stars as they wink at you from above. 
It's that first slicks of a guitar playing your song as the memories rush back from distant times. It's the first kiss of a true love. And the moment you learn what it meant to feel the touch of another human being. A quick impulse and all your senses light up from the time you hear yourself bringing another person pleasure. Only with the touch of your fingertips because your lips were busy doing other things. Then it's the sound of a little voice calling you daddy. When you open the door from a rough day at work because you sacrifice your light. You sacrifice your light to shine in nerves. And basically I was looking at how the progression of life and how it goes from being in you know being in a relationship and or being from one thing to another it's like it's like um when you have anxiety and you're going through a moment and you try to imagine yourself in a calm and serene situation where you're watching a sunset or a sunrise or you're you're trying to imagine the colors of things so it just basically calms you down so here I'm looking at the different things that brings me peace in in my you know for me in my life it brought me peace in looking at those things like the uh, crunch of uh, leaves underfoot the scent of rain burning wood and cocoa under the stars or being out looking at the stars can't play the guitar but I was trying to learn how to play the guitar uh, you know sunset sunrises you know cold mornings and uh, you know love and being with somebody and all those things that you kind of missed in it and then the things I'm missing out on I'm not having a family and everything so is it this or is it that you know it's just whatever this next one is called endless hours lost dreams of happiness because those things faded once life can control long walks become endless hours huddled at a desk as a blue screen flickers with daily reports an endless string I wish I could cut but it's my family's lifeline and I don't dare to trim that's until you reach your quota to be a cast aside how do you find your happiness when you have no set direction or pinpoint the exact time when happiness went away depression and anxiety rule your waking dreams because you can't sleep as your mind races trying to figure out the solution and fix some problems that all that all had the same answer when did I lose my happiness? And that is the thing. When do you lose your happiness? Because you say you start setting, focusing on working because working, you're working long hours to be able to have money to be able to pay bills and take care of your family and be able to meet their needs and and everything. And you go back and you go through this and over and over again. And then all of a sudden you become obsolete to your job and they fire you or they let you or they lay you off. Or the place closes and then you're out looking for another job and trying to find something to make something to make ends meet when there's nothing there to be it so you go through that depression and anxiety of trying to the depression of things that you've lost and then the anxiety of things that you're trying to hold on to which are because you've got like a freaking death grip on those things trying to hold on to them and not let them go so this next one's called late night crowd she twirled under the street lights as they held watch on the late night crowd. Two people spending time together in a parking lot after consuming too much food. A girl with soft brown hair and amber eyes that burn like coals in a fireplace when she's excited. Her silhouette and shadows mingled on the concrete as she dances as we dance, just living in the moment as everything else falls away. People talking, talking, laughing, or making rude comics. It's just us. Dancing in the street light, making a moment to last between us. And that's basically what it is. You're making the moments last between you. Because you know, it's the late night crowd and it really doesn't matter what they do or what they say. It's just you and me in the moment. So, we're nearly getting to the end of this. Is it? We're getting there slowly. So... I'll let you go. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you next Saturday, hopefully. We'll see. But y'all have a good one and be safe.